we're going to go into another system here in a minute about when I have a farm, how do I track it? How do I, how do I know if I'm getting anywhere? How, do you ever wonder, if, am I doing enough? What is the magic number? What's the magic key which makes somebody list, which makes somebody buy? Does anybody have any thought about that? Not you, Jane. <laughs> anybody else have any thoughts? <laughs> You've always wondered? Go ahead, Terry. There's no way of knowing, but I keep getting them 10 years later after I've farmed an area. Mm -hmm. Just keep coming in. Do you it farm, don't stop. Do you, keep, do you send them farm letters once a year, once a quarter, once a month? Two times a year. Okay. So I have a system that I want to share with you that assigns a value to everything that we do to this farm that you hopefully will do, or not do, that's up to you, but we're going to assign a value. So Terry sends out an envelope that's this thick to every single person in this farm. It is just <coughs> loaded with stuff. It's very custom. It's very impressive. You have your bio in there. You've got a custom letter. You've got stats. You have all kinds of great information. They probably hang on to that because it's very custom. If I sent them the same thing and it was just, Hi, how are you? I'd like to list your house. Boom, they're gonna, it's just going to go right in the garbage can. So it depends what you sent. But I have a system where I put a value on different things. How I've accumulated my system is over the years. You know, we've got Brian Buffini, we've got the Mike Ferry system, we have Denise Lomas. We have so many classes that we've all been to. I have mine to where it feels right. Um, uh, it feels right in my heart. Would I want to receive this? Does it, is it respectful of me? Because I want the people I send stuff to to know that I'm respecting them also. I want to win the opportunity to work with them. I, you know, I care about them. Their home is where they go to sleep at night, where they raise their families. And I always try to be cognizant of that. Um, also when I'm doing presentations. So it's part of who I am. There's a lot of people in here that operate their business that way also. So, any more questions on, oh, you know what, I did have one more thing before I get to my other system. So, so right now we are looking at, I'm, I'm up here, right now we're looking at Frank's system as an address card, and now we're going to look at Frank's system by categories. So this is why I put all of the people in categories. Um, so right here, here is the, the sample that I did for you today. I put it as a current buyer. Right now in my outlook, I have, um, you know, I've got like future buyers, future listings. I checked this morning. I have 61 future buyers. I have 121 future listings. I could print all those out, I could put them up on the wall, I could start working on calling them, mail them, if I want to turn up my business, if I want stuff right now. So when someone gets into my database and I put them as a future listing, they really have to be. I'm not wishing that they were, they really truly are. So I have a very good quality business, um, it's, it has a lot of integrity to it. Your farm is not a good quality, doesn't have a lot of integrity, you don't know these people from Adam. You know, there might be realtors on this database. I have no idea. So, you'll have to work it a little bit harder. When I work, these are all warm people. These are people that all, have all dealt with me. So I don't put my farm in here. Nobody gets in my database until they truly are a live person and I have a file folder on them. So. Jana? Yeah? You said you had a master list for your categories. Is that something that comes with Outlook or do you make that master list yourself? I made it myself. Okay. So you're looking at my personal way. Um, Frank said, let's look at underneath the hood, Jana. Let me see how you run your business. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing how okay. one of the major components of how I operate my business. Anybody else? So yeah, master category, you make up your own. You don't need mine, you can make up your own. So your category, Gabe, you have you and Jim are on the board at the Yacht Club. So you have a book club, you have your family, you have your children, you've got them all on email. You can put all of those, and so when you're running down the list of who to call because you might be in shock because you fell down broke your leg, you could go Steffi, 
Travis, and you could go down your list of kids. Did I forget anybody? Well, they're all in your categories. Mm -hmm. Not that you forget your children, but that would be, you know, and, you know, as you're sitting there and you've got five or ten minutes waiting for a client to come in the office, start at the A's, make your category. Who is this person to me? Are they family? Are they a future buyer, future listing? Did they buy a house from me? Did they have house client? Just start somewhere. And as you have time, your whole database is going to be brought up to speed and working at a higher functioning level. Cool. So my, so this is where I go when I want to do my, my calendars. This year I sent 260 some calendars out. And I went into my, my calendar category and shoom, just populated with all of these contacts. If I clicked on it, you'd get that full page with all my notes, their address, their phone numbers, and all of that. Um, I can then print labels, slap them on my envelopes, out the door they go. If I want to do it that simple, I take more care, I hand address all my envelopes, that's why I get them in of October, early November. I sit there with Brian, watch TV, I hand address envelopes. On the back of the envelope, I do a handwritten note. Hi, Joe Campy. Hope you have a fabulous new year. Happy holidays. If I know their faith, I can put something of that. Go a step further, I open up the calendar before I shove it in the envelope. I go to Christmas, I draw a holly leaf around Christmas, so, and I have sparkly markers. Draw a big heart on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Joe. I personalize inside of my calendar, so every day when they're looking at my picture, looking at my email, looking at my phone number, they flip it to a new month. Wow, well, here's a little note from Jana. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm touching. Every time I have a personal note, I'm touching those people a little bit more. I'm top of consciousness. Hopefully when Jane calls, they will stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that very respectfully. Because Jane will come to me and say, you know what, I called a person, they're not leaving you. So, you know, I mean, it's, you know, we all compete against each other. We're all very respectful. And that's why I, I love being in this office. So, hopefully I'm not being too long-winded here. Um, let's go to Frank's email for a sec. So, up here in this box, I'm going to type Jana Salmons. And hopefully, every email between Frank and I is going to come up. Here we go. Well, maybe not. Yes. So, um, why would I want to do that? That's what Frank wants to know. So, here it is. So, here's all the communications between Frank and I. So, Frank bought a house for me, and now my file folder's this thick. I've got the HUD. He's closed. Does keys. He's happy. I'm going to close out the file. I'm going to go to email, I'm going to type in Frank's name, I'm going to get all the emails that Frank and I have ever communicated together because in there are going to be questions about, well, what happens if the septic tank fails, or what happens if this? It's not a little piece of paper that I already have in here if I ever have to go to court with Frank, is it? It's in my email. Cindy saves hers in a folder. Thank you for letting me come and look at your outlook. I mean, and I did learn some things from you also. Cindy will take and she'll drag and drop, <coughs> drag and drop, drag and drop, so she's got them all in the folder. But you know what? You end up with too many folders. Mm -hmm. You know? And everyone's going to have their own way of doing it. I like to print it. I'm going to shove it in the file, and I'm going to file it in the file cabinet, and I'm done. Have I ever had to go back to my files, pull up emails? Mm hmm. Two years later? Mm hmm. What happens if your computer crashes? You've lost it. John Scott cloud server is not going to say this. What is it deleted like every 15 days or something? So Frank has all of his stored in his Outlook on his computer here. Even if he deleted something from me, it'll still come up if he types my name. So Jenna, you need to so print all those emails out. Uh -huh. There's on the Rico, you know, because that's just the endless. You know, the black and white one. Free? And just click, check the box, check the box and hit print, and it'll just print for you over each one individually and hit print. 
Um, do I go shift and highlight all of them and then go print? Probably. Doesn't do that unless you do that. See the more so education about going to OC and taking a class on Word, take a class on Outlook, get yourself up to speed. Because on our, on John L. Scott, you can't click, you have to open the email to print. We're not on John L. Scott webmail. Well, that's not, what I'm we're not on the cloud. Software. This is this is the software on this particular computer. The web John L. Scott at this point, that's um, Outlook 2003, is very limited. You know, it's just basically for email, for a little bit of information, that's it. Frank, I think that I heard you say that our tech department's going to be upgrading. Yeah, so I mean, we'll probably get some something new that might be comparable to this. It, well, so let me qualify. Right. What they're doing is increasing the size of the mailboxes so you okay. don't get the alerts. Mm -hmm. But despite that, I still think this is such an important part of your business, you should take control of it. Don't leave it up to a company to take control of it. You should get this on your computer if you're committed to Outlook. I agree. Yep. I agree. Because let's say the John L. Scott web service goes down. The ID, IT department closes it down for two days. You need an email. You cannot work. You can't function. You might get in all kinds of trouble. We're self-employed. We are running our own business. You should have your own system. You can pick up and go away real quick. Yes, Brown. Which version of Outlook are you Right now I'm using 2007. Mm -hmm. Because Brian wants to buy me 2010. Okay. No, 2007, first grade. First grade Okay. Time, okay. Um, anyway, so just a little tidbit. Outlook does a lot. Okay, now we're going to have to speed up there. What time is it? Running out of time? Yep. Okay, so from Outlook, I, I can prospect from there. Um, I can export my categories, current buyers, future buyers, past clients, farming areas. How I work on these two, what view am I on? Well, let's keep going. Um, value what you do. Just back then. Um, okay, so thank you, Stuart Title, for compiling, Brenna, for compiling all of that, and then we had a helper that burned them onto the disk for you. A couple weeks, Brian will be talking to you about technology. So now I have the CSV file. How do I get it into my computer? Brian's going to be teaching you about that. So, thank you. Thank you.